I guess you know your mother and I don't think much of this idea of you moving to California. Yeah, I know. I talked to mom this afternoon about it. What I don't understand, your band does good here in town. Every time you play, people come out, they have a good time. Yeah, okay, well that's not really the point. You know? If I stick around in this town, I'm gonna end up like nobody. Out in Hollywood, that's where all the record labels are. Literally every single one. Okay? That's why we're moving out there. If we can start getting a following there, out in Hollywood, you know, then they're gonna notice us, and so that's why we're moving out there. Because if we can start building a following, it's where the record labels actually are, you know? And they can actually get a record deal, you know? That's just my dream, at least. I mean, come on. You had to have a dream when you were my age, right? Hell, I was in a band back in the day. You never told me that. That was a long time ago. Me and your Uncle Bill had a country western band. Mm -hmm. I played bass, and Bill played guitar and did singing. Did you have any success with it? No, not really. I think we played every honky tonk and shitty bar from here to Dallas trying to make a go of it. We did open for George Strait one time. George Strait. I know I've heard that name before somewhere. He was kind of big, yeah? Yeah, you could say George Strait was big. He was playing a concert in Fort Worth and the open that council. The promoter was a friend of ours. He gave us a call and asked if we could fill in. Do our stuff in the van and haul ass up there. Hell, I thought Bill was gonna get his kill away he's driving. But we made it there in one piece. How'd it go? Oh, it was fine. Uh, people weren't there to see us, but you know, we never played to that many people before. Then what happened? What happened? You have it. Oh. Me. Yay. After the concert, we, we all went to a party and everybody's out in the backyard smoking dope and I never cared for that, so I went in the house and there on the couch all by herself was your mother. I thought she was the prettiest girl in the world. I sat down and started talking and Right away, it seemed like we known each other forever. Before you know it, we were out in the van and, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Mom never told me that part of the story. Uh, she never will. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And Mom's turning into the church lady. Well, you can say that again. A couple weeks later, she calls and says she's pregnant. I said, well, I thought we ought to get married. She thought so too. So I quit the band, and got a job at the phone company. Son, what I'm trying to tell you, life's not about partying and running around, it's... Listen, okay? I'm moving to Hollywood. I'm leaving in the morning. I know. I know you are. God damn it, son, I'm gonna miss you. I know. Mm. Well, I'm gonna tell you what my dad told me when I left home. When you meet someone and you shake their hand, you shake it like you mean business. I shake my hand. <laughs> 